Chinese President Hu Jintao has invited North Korean leader Kim Jong-il to visit China. The invitation comes as Pyongyang has signaled it could return to stalled nuclear talks hosted by Beijing. The offer was made to a visiting North Korean official, Cho tae bok who is in Beijing to mark 60 years of diplomatic ties between the two countries. Chinese Premier Wen Jiabao visited Pyongyang earlier this month, and Kim said then that North Korea would be willing to return to the six-party nuclear talks, but only after holding direct talks with the U.S. China is to relax its ban on pork imports from the United States. At the same time, Agriculture Minister Sun Jung Tai has urged the United States to move quickly to certify Chinese cooked poultry processors for sale in the U.S. The announcement was made in the city of Hangzhou during annual trade talks with U.S. officials, including Commerce Secretary Gary Long. However, the Chinese side did not go into details about when the ban will be lifted. China stopped imports of U.S. pork earlier this year, citing concerns about the H1N1 influenza virus. 27 countries initially banned U.S. pork exports after the H1N1 outbreak, but only China's ban remained in place. Staying with business now, China has informed the U.S. it is launching a trade investigation into whether U.S. car makers are being unfairly subsidized by the U.S. government. The probe could lead to higher import duties for the U.S. big three automakers, GM, Chrysler, and Ford. The move comes at a time of heightened trade tensions between the two countries after the U.S. imposed duties on Chinese tires last month. The former Judicial Bureau Chief and Deputy Police Chief of Chongqing Municipality in southern China are both expected to stand trial at the end of next month. Procurator General Yun Min said the two are charged with protecting mafia-like gangs that operated in the city. Since October 12, Chongqing officials have brought six organized gangs to trial. Two trials have already concluded and six people have been sentenced to death or to death with reprieves. Taiwan has accused the U.S. of stalling in supplying the island with F-16 jet fighters because it is wary of angering the Chinese mainland. Speaking this week, the island's leader, Ma Ying-jeou, said Taiwan is seeking an almost $5 billion deal for 66 advanced F-16s to modernize its military. The U.S. says it is reviewing Taiwan's defense needs and has not made a commitment to the sale. China's foreign ministry yesterday reaffirmed its opposition to any U.S. arms sales to Taiwan. The governor of Hawaii, Linda Lingle, arrives in China this weekend for a two-week trip to sell Hawaii as a tourism destination. Lingle also says she wants to increase opportunities for the state's products to be sold in China. She is set to travel to six cities and will meet with officials from Hainan Airlines, which recently won approval for at least one weekly flight from Beijing to Hawaii, as well as tourism officials. And also on her schedule, a meeting with U.S. Ambassador to China, John Huntsman, to discuss speeding up the visa process for Chinese visitors. And that's the BON headlines for now, but we'll be back with more news after this.